is for low shots, where the ball is too far to reach the collapse dive, or for high balls that you can't get your body behind. Now, just like the collapse dive, the technique starts off with a step away from your line and then the direction of your dive. The main difference with the extension dive is that instead of collapsing on this leg, you're actually going to extend this leg and leap off this foot. When landing to the ground, be sure to land on your side. Do not try and brace your fall with your hand. Not only is this dangerous, as you can break your arm or your wrist, but it also hinders your ability to reach for the ball and even makes it impossible to catch it. Now, if you can make the save and get two hands on it, you're best served trying to catch this ball. And if you do, you're gonna use the W catch or the contour catch. As you can see though, reaching with two hands to the ball only gets me so far. Chances are, if you're making an attempt at the ball with an extension dive, you're not gonna be close enough for a catch. So you're going to have to reach out with your close hand, but because it's impossible to make a catch like this with one hand, you're gonna to have to parry this ball away. You wanna push this ball around the bar and out of bounds or towards the corner flag. The last thing you wanna do is give up a rebound that lands inside your six. With you recovering from an extension dive, rebounds landing inside your six yard box usually end up as a goal. That's the technique for an extension dive. Now let's see some in action.